Eh, why not? We can sell them next turn for extra gold. Or we can combine them for an early something on turn three. We will be the desperate dust bunnies. Yeah, that's pretty good. Love some good alliteration. And we draw. <clears throat> Just letting Violet back out because she's whining again. <laughs> Alrighty, um, do we go? What do we go? We have all pack one pets so far. I don't like that. Especially tier one. I think we just buy the whole shop, right? I think we go, we go like that. We go fish, we go mosquito. We roll to see what we get. We got another fish. Did I switch packs or something? What happened? Getting all um, standard pack stuff. <laughs> no otters, so I think we're still on the right pack. Oh. They have a lot of mosquitoes, but I think we draw. No, we lose. Dang it. Another pig? We don't need another pig. That's fine. We will combine here to see what we get. A snail. We did lose. I could use a snail. I don't really particularly want to use a snail. I think we sell here. We buy a mosquito. We buy, sell the snail. We buy a fish and we roll. Hey, we got some not standard pack stuff, finally. All right, I do think I want the bat. It's pretty early, it's only turn three. We're gonna go for the bat. We'll combine the fish, we'll throw the bat at the back. I don't, I know there's two ladybugs, so I probably should go for it, but if I'm not getting them in turn one and two, then it's already late to be going for a tier one. So we'll skip it for now, and there's a third one. Um, We don't need meat. I'll get a third mosquito, see what we get. Maybe I'll wait, um, two turns? I'll pill the ant. Or potentially I could combine the mosquitoes and pill the flamingo. That way I can target what it hits. And I would want it to hit probably the mosquitoes and the bat. I'm probably not gonna keep the fish around once I level it up. I'll use it for its buff, and then I'll probably get rid of it. We got an, we got a draw. That's pretty good. Um, so we'll combine here. We get a turtle. Oh, do I just pill the turtle instead? Maybe I just pill the turtle instead. Get some melon early. That's pretty good. We'll do that. And then we'll actually do this. We'll do it like that. And we'll hope for another pill. Um, that way we can buff the mosquito and the bat, and then another pill for the ant, once, uh, once the flamingo is gone. And he sniped my melon. That's annoying. And he put weakness on me. Oh, that's really annoying. But we win? We win. Nice. Not used to weakness. I don't really... <laughs> it's hard for me to tell what's going on when there's weakness. Cool. So we're gonna do that. That's good. We're not going to bother putting garlic on the fish or the ant because we're going to get rid of them soon. We're going to save this fish. Oh, are we? No, I think we're going to buy. Do we get something first or do we waste one of its buffs? I think we waste it and see what we get. A deer. I mean, a deer's good. I'll put a deer in. Um, we'll hold on to the fish for this turn, but we'll probably get rid of it next turn. We'll roll. I can go hatching chick. Yeah, I think we're going to go hatching chick. 
Um, we'll put it right behind the mosquito and get the mosquito real big. Um, don't want to save anything else here. I was hoping to find a pill to freeze for next turn, but if I don't find one like in the first roll, I'll probably just sell the ant. Or maybe I'll sell the fish. I don't really know. We'll make a we'll make a uh, game time decision on that one, and we win. Nice. Um. All right. So one roll. If we find a pill, great. If not, we did not. Okay. Um. So I think we want to do. I think we'll do this. I know we're losing out on the buff, but it's fine. We do have two hatching chicks, though, which is kind of great. Um, I think we sell the fish also. And we go hatching chick, hatching chick. Um, I don't think we want to go dromedary this time. I do want to get a good dromedary game going, but I don't think this is it. It's, it's already turn six. A, a third hatching chick. That's actually kind of huge. We'll get that now, and we'll probably combine next turn because we we need this <clears throat> we need the space, and plus five plus five on two units is is kind of crazy. Um, I don't want to save any of that. I'll get another hatching chick. We'll level one up and keep the other one level one for now. That's amazing. Um, I think we'll keep the snail because we might lose and we can combine the hatching chicks by sell the snail by the other hatching chick. That's perfect. Uh, there's that pill I was looking for before, but it's too late now. I probably should have got garlic for the bat. I didn't think about that. But I think we're all right. Weakness on the rabbit. I would have loved it on the pig. That would have been great. Although he was going to get armor anyway, so it doesn't really matter. And we win. Beautiful. So we don't need the snail. One frees you. Um, rooster. I like the rooster with the hatching chick. That's a good combo. Maybe we don't keep two separate hatching chicks. Maybe we do this. A poodle. Four, one, three, two, five. All right. I think we buy the poodle. We sell the deer. We put the rooster in. We give it a pair. This is a good team. And we got some good scaling. And we still have... Uh, we can still lose twice. You know what? We are going to save this again because we just switched up the team so much. Um, we might end up having to get rid of this bat because it's still level one and it's a tier two. So we'll probably end up getting rid of that for either a tier six or a better tier two. Uh, unless we see a lot of it next turn. Mm, is a can worth it? I don't think so. I think we just need some garlic. And a pear is good. Okay. So you're scaling plus two, plus two, and it's permanent. And then you're scaling every one plus one, plus one. That's awesome. We got some good scaling going. This seems a little scary. Um... Okay. We draw. That was terrifying. <laughs> Alrighty. So, unfreeze the snail. Um, we'll put garlic on the rooster. We'll also pair the rooster. Uh, we'll... I don't even know what the hatching chick does on... On level three. Maybe I should look that up. Let's go... Here. Pets. View. And the hatching check, hatching chick is 
tier two, tier three. Give one experience to the friend ahead. That's actually kind of cool. Okay. Back. Continue. That's actually kind of nuts if I can get that. I mean, obviously scaling is great, but experience is nuts. Whoops, that's not what I wanted. Right. So that would be the replacement if I was switching it out for the poodle, like keeping the keeping the poodle and give, still giving everyone a buff. I'd switch the rooster for the buffalo. I don't want to do that. This isn't really a conducive to buy sell kind of build. So we're going to keep going with what we have. We're just looking for more of what we have, except maybe we're looking for a tier six to replace the bat or just a better tier two, I guess. I can't believe we survived that actually. That's awesome. Great, we gotta win. Chocolate? We definitely put the chocolate here. We'll freeze a bat. If we find another one, we'll keep it. Chocolate. No, I'm going I'm going hatching chick with the chocolate. We're gonna get experience on the rooster. Absolutely. Start of turn. Okay, so that's when you re-enter the shop. T-Rex. Yep, that's so much better than the than the bat. We'll get we'll get that. Oh, we can get that this turn. We can get that this turn, and we will. Because even though we're not gonna get the buff, he's got more attack than the bat does. Although the bat gives weakness, maybe we should keep it for one more turn. No, because I don't want to have to waste. I don't want to have to waste coins next turn buying the T-Rex if we can just get it now. All right, cool. I'm liking this team. We'll keep a pair, I guess. And now we don't really need the hatching chick um, scaling because we have the poodle and the T-Rex. Nice, we got another win. This is huge. We level up the rooster. That's awesome. Boar? No, we stick with the T-Rex. We'll buy a pair. We can roll once to see what we get. Nothing great. I think we're going to keep the food slots open for chocolate. We're not going to save that sushi. Normally, I would. How many wins are we at? Do I have to worry about getting this rooster to level three faster than, like, in three turns? Because <laughs> that would be concerning. Okay. Not terrible. I think we win. Yeah, we win. Cool. We trade with the bunny. Poodle's left. I love that. Another T-Rex. I like that. We can go for the T-Rex with the hatching chicks starting once the rooster's all set. Um, ooh. No, because Mushroom brings them back as a 1-1. One, one. So Mushroom on the rooster is not that great because it'll just summon more 1-1s one, when it dies. That's not That's not worth it, I don't think. We'll roll. Um, I think we roll for more of what we have. I kind of want to buy the salad, but we have so much scaling, I think we're fine. Plus, we can lose more. We don't need more hatching chick. We don't need more hatching chick. <laughs> steak? Steak I can use. Steak I can use. Um... I probably should get garlic, but I want to keep the slot open for chocolate. 
The level three hatching chick is gonna be huge for um, getting other things ribbons. I didn't even realize that that was its ability. That's nuts. Take you out, take you out. What do you spawn? We're fine. Heck yeah. We're doing great. Uh, we're gonna put the steak on the T-Rex, I think, and put that in the front. Um, we're getting the rooster to, to level three next turn, which is amazing. We roll. Should I buy the sushi? No, we're gonna keep rolling. See if we can get chocolate, T-Rex, or poodle. Melon's good. I'm gonna save the melon. I'd also like meat on the poodle, the, the steak on the poodle, but I'm not gonna go for that. Just so we can keep the slot open. All right. We're having a tough time with, uh, with the rolls right now, but I think we're okay. I think we're okay. That's why we put a weaker unit in the front. That's fine. I mean, I would have loved, obviously, to... Nope, we lost this one. Dang it. I would have loved, obviously, to break the melon. But... All right, we got the rooster to level three. Now we want to level up the T-Rex. So we'll put you there. And we got a rooster in the shop, too, which is annoying. Um, I think we do this. We'll roll. We have three turns left. If we win them all, which, I mean, hopefully we do, but <laughs> I don't want to get ahead of myself. Um... So we'll need to find at least one chocolate if we're going to get this T-Rex or a T-Rex, obviously, if we're going to get this T-Rex to level three before the end. What do you spawn? Okay. At least we take you out. Good. One, two, we draw. Okay. I'll take a draw. Gives me more turns to, to find what I'm looking for. <laughs> um... We'll roll, no, we'll roll, no, we'll roll, come on, there we go, we got chocolate, um, yeah, we'll give it to, we'll give it to the T-Rex, we'll try and get him to level three, and then we'll start working on the poodle, one turn, and the T-Rex buffs more now, which is great. You coming in? No, you just want the door to be open? Okay. <laughs> She's silly. What do we got going on here? Oh, boy. Um. Oh, good. We win. Beautiful. Don't care about the mosquito. I'd love it if we could find T-Rex or chocolate this turn so that we can start working on the poodle. Nope. 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 Hey, we got a T-Rex and a poodle. Um. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put the hatching chick behind the poodle. And I'm doing that because we have a T-Rex. The hatching chick will give the poodle at the start of next turn experience. And then we can level up the T-Rex and the poodle next turn. Yes. So we'll roll again. We'll roll again. Really wish we found chocolate or another poodle, but I'm okay with it. This is this is a great team. We're crushing it. Um, I don't think we'll be able to get the poodle to level three unless we get insanely lucky next turn. <laughs> we'll see what happens, but probably not. One, 
two, three, poodle, hatching chick, but you spawn two things. Oh God, we draw, we draw. You know what? That might be okay. That might help us get the poodle to level three. So we give, there's level three. I was really hoping, oh no, poodle's tier five. That doesn't, that didn't make sense. We'll level you up though. Wow, are you kidding? That's <laughs> tempting. Um, but no, we're not going for that. Uh, we'll roll once. We got another poodle. Don't need another T-Rex. So next turn, essentially, we need either one poodle or one chocolate that we don't already have frozen. Because then we can get it to level three. And then we'd be getting four ribbons in one game. That would be insane. Assuming we win, obviously. Which is not a given this late. <laughs> We're already on turn 16. Um, which is terrifying. Plus, they have a bunch of snipers, which I don't love. But we have this. And we win. Lovely. Cool. Love that. Okay, we do that. We roll. No, we roll. No, we roll. No, we roll. You know what? I think we keep rolling. Or maybe we just give the poodle garlic and hope we draw. If we draw, then we have it. We have four ribbons. If we, Assuming we win, obviously. Hey, Andrew, what's going on? Chick is strong. The, so the level three hatching chick, I just bought the expansion pack, the, uh, like yesterday, the level three hatching chick at the start of every turn gives the pet ahead experience, which is how I've gotten, you know, everything to level three essentially here. Um, I think, I think the buff is better than garlic. So we're going to, we're going to end it on three coins there. We'll get the buff from the T-Rex. Rooster's at 50 attack, which is great. We get three, uh, we get three 25 attack chicks, which is huge. We take the butterfly out. Oh, easy, easy. All right. Well, we didn't get the poodle, <laughs> but we got the T-Rex, the rooster, and the hatching chick all in one game. That is Nuts. Um, the T-Rex. The Rooster. Oh, I did that wrong. Hold on. Uh, undo. Undo. Okay. Um, 